Hi, welcome to the Education Outreach Center. My name is Nick. And I'm Jesse. And today we're going to be talking about my favorite kid, solar cars. This kid is, uh, this kid's great because it actually, there's no set procedure for the kids to follow. They design their own car based off of, you know, they go through their uh, own engineering design process. They design their own car, build it their own way. There's multiple different ways that they can have the car move, different ways they can design it and set it up. Uh, so they design their own car before they build it. This is a good time uh, for have your kids before they even get started building because the kids are just going to want to jump in and dive right in without even really thinking it through. Uh, but this is a good time to have your kids go through the booklet, kind of look at the different ways that the car can move, and then have it, them draw out a design before they even touch the materials and before they start building. Um, so yeah. Exactly. And also this is a great activity for students to develop their teamwork skills. So a 21st century mm -hmm. cooperation It's really important. I've seen some kids break down before, you know, it's a Shut pair, yeah, yeah, two students and one of the students gives up because they don't know how to yeah. talk. So this mm -hmm. is a great opportunity for you to have a discussion with your students about what is teamwork mm -hmm. and especially in any kind of engineering process, you know, the more people that can share their ideas, the better. Mm -hmm. So trying to exactly. work on that with Because teamwork makes the dream work. It sure does. <laughs> All right. Well, I will quickly go through the materials. We get our materials from Sunwin, which is based out of Canada. Um, and mm -hmm. every kit is a booklet. We designed this. Um, it's really helpful for students. There are science notebook questions. Just make sure mm -hmm. students also look at that. A roll of duct tape. Um, every kit is going to have a different kind of duct tape. It's really fun. Oh, yeah. There, there's some pretty cool ones. There in are. There. There's a mustache one. That's my oh, favorite yeah. one. So. That's a good one. Students really like to use this. Um, this is our model car. We don't really use duct tape on this one, but... You can get away with it, but kids like to use the duct tape to hold things and, and or decorate their car, okay. especially with some of the really cool ones, like the Batman one's pretty cool. Yeah, they're, they're cool duct tape. So we also have a foam board piece. Um, it's cut to size, but if students want to make it smaller, there's a pair of scissors in here for them to do that. Um, it's pretty much up to them how they want their base of the car to look. We have a solar panel. Um, some of the kids might have different sizes, small or large, but they work the same. Mm -hmm. Pliers, which come in handy when it comes time to break down the part or the break down the car. Mm -hmm. Some of the pieces get stuck on there. And then there's going to be a small jar of small parts. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but some of the main ones, if I can get it out. There is a motor, which students will definitely be using. That's a big one. Eyelets, you can try and have kids understand um, or learn some of these words for the pieces. Yep. Yeah. I, yeah, go ahead. No, oh, go, keep going. <laughs> sorry. Small um, plastic tubing, a tack, which is really helpful when it comes time to putting the eyelets in the um, wood, mm -hmm. and then just a few other pieces, some small gear Gears, sizes. Things like that, motor yeah. Motor pulley. So, those. Some larger gears. We have um, pulleys that act as wheels with the associated um, O-rings, some wooden boards, and dowels, oh. a propeller, and just a few other small pieces, but we can talk about yeah, that as we get there, there are three different ways of uh, actually having the car propel. You can use a pulley system like we used on this guy, uh, using just rubber bands, and then some of these guys. Uh, you can also have your kids use the gears. The gears are a little bit more difficult to use, um, a little bit harder to set up, but they're more rewarding in the end because you actually get a car that moves more efficiently, a little bit better. Uh, definitely going up. Certain if you want to create challenges, you know, have your kids, you know, have the car go uphill, go up like a little slope or something. The gear gears definitely help out better with that. Uh, and the last one is a uh, propeller to use, you know, wind propulsion. Uh, the biggest problem we've noticed with the propeller is. The kids a lot of times don't realize that they need to raise up the propeller. So when they, they build it down here, and then it just starts hitting the ground, and it doesn't move anywhere. It's not go so anywhere. it's not going to go anywhere. So they need to they need to realize that they need to build it up higher. Uh, but that's also something you can tell your kids that if you want, or you can have your kids uh, kind of realize find that out on their own. Uh, that's part of the beauty of this lab is to really kind of go through that process of trial and error because uh, there's really no set way that the kids are going to have to build like they have to build a car that looks like this. It's like no, the car can look like whatever they want. Exactly. And also just having the kids, if students come up to you and they say, it's not working, it's not working, say, did you ask your partner? What did you guys come up with? Mm -hmm. So it's a great opportunity, too, that they have to problem solve together. Mm -hmm. um, just some basic setup um, hints that we find helpful is with the base, this foam board. Um, 
if they use the tack, they can poke, oh, sorry, they can, yeah, they can use the tack to poke holes through the board and even through the wood. Um, this is just so that they get a pilot hole for the eyelet. It makes it easier, like to, get the, makes it easier to get those, uh, the, the, eye, the eyelets in there. Uh, exactly. The wood is a soft wood, so it won't be too difficult to push the tack through and or the eyelets. Uh, so it's not like it's a hard wood, but yeah. It just makes it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Uh, with the wooden dowels, we have these plastic tubing pieces so that when they put the dowel through the eyelets on the bottom, um, they can use this tubing piece to keep the wheel on. So as you can see, our wheel's not sliding off. Doesn't move. And Some students, veer yeah. off to the left. Or yeah, really veer off. To the left so it just keeps the wheels how they want them, which some students um, might find that is a problem, is that their wheels are moving too much. Mm -hmm. But by all means, they don't have to if they don't want to. Exactly. Um, with our pulley system, it's also really important that students get the right rubber band. So as you can see, this one looks like it should work. Um, we have one that's a little bit bigger and then a really big one too. So as okay. you can see, it's not... It's not really big enough, but you can loop it. You can kind of exactly. just do whatever you want. Uh, we've noticed with, with the rubber bands, uh, with the pulley system, if the rubber band is either too tight or too loose, a lot of times the, uh, the car won't move. Uh, the the the, uh, the, um, the motor will turn, um, but the uh, the pulleys themselves won't because of the rubber bands. So again, trial and error. Have your kids kind of look it through and think why. Maybe try different rubber bands um, and such. Exactly. And then just a few other things, like we said with the duct tape. Um, there's a little. Um, we have a Velcro square and then this other square sticky tab that they can use to assemble their motor base on. Yeah, and, and stick their um, the solar panel on. Exactly. So they don't have to use the duct tape, but like we said, they really like to. They like to. Uh, yeah. one, bi one big thing uh, going off with the motor, the, uh, a lot of times uh, kids don't attach the, uh, the clips properly. So a lot of times uh, the motor won't run because the clips aren't attached properly uh, or, and or they have something touching it which actually causes the, the motor to short out uh, and won't move. Uh, uh, but one thing that you can do, it's a prompt to have your kids write in their science notebook, is uh, have them kind of switch which wire goes on which um, piece on the motor, uh, just to see what happens. Uh, your kids will notice, hopefully they should notice, <laughs> that it'll actually cause the motor to spin the other way uh, if you flip which, which, black, which one goes on black and which one goes on red. And then one other really big um, issue I see is that the solar panel, they don't have it tilted. And if it's not tilted, if it's laying flat, the car more than likely isn't going to move just because of the angle of the sun. It's not the most efficient or the yeah. best angle. Yeah, it doesn't, you know, the angle create, creates a little bit more surface area. Again, good prompt for your kids to have right in their science notebooks. And there's some relevant information, too, that you can have students um, write about in their science notebooks. So how do they usually see solar panels? Um, if they ride bikes pretty frequently, how is a bike set up? How can they take that design and apply it to the solar car? So there's a lot of different prompts that you can ask your students about with this activity. Yeah, it's, this is a phenomenal activity. It's I love this. Thing. It really, really, really sparks creativity and imagination in kids uh, and can also spark, you know, anger. And, uh, upsetting towards, you know, especially if they don't get along with their teammates. So, again, a good way to work on teamwork. Absolutely. And just um, to go off of that really quickly, I had one student tell me one time, she's like, I hate science, but this changed my mind. She's like, I didn't know science could be so fun. So when it comes times, um, time to disassemble the car, uh, the pliers come in really handy, especially with this um, motor pulley. It can get stuck onto the motor. and a challenge and you're fighting it so I definitely recommend using the pliers um, students can reuse the pieces our future students can reuse the pieces so the tubing pieces can be kept eyelets um, the only thing that really should be thrown out is the duct tape pieces so yep. just ask students to make sure that they're taking they remove all the duct tape yeah the duct tape the um, velcro squares the sticky tabs those can all come off but they can reuse everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe that is it. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and we hope that your students have fun making their own cars. Yeah. Have a good day.